If your employer announces a return to the office while you'd like to continue working remotely, at least some of the time, you may have leverage to negotiate. Our contributor, Emily McCrary Ruiz Esparza, talked with Kirsten Greggs, founder of the recruitment consulting firm Trap Recruiting, who shared three ways to negotiate your compensation and benefits during a demand to return to the office. Number one, consider the commute. You could simply talk with your leader and use this script. My commute is this long and it costs me this much money to commute. I now have to pay for parking or public transportation. Would you provide me with a stipend or relocation? Two, consider the care that you provide to others. If you're a caregiver for children or the elderly, inquire about the benefits they provide to make your world easier. Many companies are providing care support through a stipend, access to a vendor to increase ease or additional flexibility. Three, workers can take the productivity and mental health angle as well, according to Greg's. While you can note that the flexibility provides you with targeted creativity time or allows you to get more done in less time, this is one where you may need a medical professional's aid. Many employees are able to create flexibility agreements tailored to them once a doctor's note is provided to their leader or HR. Number four, settle on better hybrid. If the other options aren't going to work for you or be approved by your company, you can make compromises or agreements on when and how you work. The key here is ensuring that you know what's being asked of you and consistently showing good performance in those areas. For more great tips on hybrid or remote work, visit us at qz.com work.